Hi, how are you all? Yeah. Good, good. I can see lots of excited boys and girls' faces here. I hope you're going to have a great time and thank you all for bringing your mums and dads along because uh, I don't know quite what we would do without them. Uh, I'd just like to start off by saying hello. My name is David Smith. I am the uh, Divisional Director here at this fabulous resort. Uh, so I have the pleasure of looking after it all. Uh, so uh, if everything goes well today, it's all these magnificent staff who've done it. If everything goes wrong, then I'll probably run away, but it's probably my fault, but hopefully that won't happen. Um, first and foremost, have you all got your lanyards on? Can I see all your lanyards? Yes. Yeah. Super. Yeah, uh, next, uh, hands up anybody who knows what Acre might be. Nobody knows what Acre may be yet. Wow, well, we're going to teach you about that in a short while. Acre is actually the African conservation uh, and research and exploration. And it's really what Zufari is all about. So we'll, uh, we'll see a little bit more about that soon. So, what are you here for today? Well, you're here for your very own sneak preview of Zufari. And you are the first people who are ever, ever going to go and uh, have a go on this ride. Half the, most of the staff haven't been on there yet, so it's uh, a pretty exciting time for you. And uh, we'll give you a little bit more of that later. Um, so, here it is. Uh, Zufari in uh, 2013 is going to be the centre point of everything that we have to offer here at Chesilton. Um, we've got over 40 separate rides and shows. We've got over a thousand wild animals that are amazing to see. And they're all presented in these 10 fantastic themed lands from all around the world. But really, as I say, the centrepiece is all going to be about Zufari here. So what is Zufari? Well, there you go. A safari truck expedition into a mysterious African kingdom. What we're inviting all of our guests to do is to become a part of Acre, this research organisation that have found this amazing new world of Zufari. Soon you're going to be meeting the head researcher, a gentleman called Chase, uh, and he'll tell you much more about what we need you to do as researchers today. Uh, but I have to, expect, I have to warn you, um, this isn't just any normal safari. We will be warning you to, unfortunately, you have to expect the unexpected. And just a little tip, you may get a little bit wet today. And I know it's cold, so uh, there you go. Forewarned is forearm is all I can say. Now, um, not only do we have Zufari to tell you about today, but we do actually have one very, very special guest with us as well. Um, around about, uh, probably about August last year, in association with First News, um, we launched our search for Britain's Young Adventurer of the Year 2013. And we had thousands of entries uh, from right across the country. And we were really looking for somebody who could be our African ambassador and teach us about what African people do and give us some tips when we come to launch this attraction in a couple of weeks' time. Um, we had a pretty extensive judging panel, including Naomi Wilkinson, some of you may know her from CBBC. And uh, unfortunately, she was hoping to be here today uh, to, uh, to award the winner, but she's left us a message because she can't actually be here. Hello adventurers, I'm Naomi Wilkinson, one of the judges of this year's Britain's Young Adventurer of the Year competition. Unfortunately, I can't be with you today because, as you can see, I'm off on a wild adventure of my own. Gutted to be missing it, but I'm sure you're all having a fantastic time and enjoying Zufari Ride into Africa. Now, where is my little adventurer, Caitlin? Ah, there you are. Give everyone a wave, Caitlin. Yes, I want to say a very special congratulations to Chessington's new African advisor and Britain's Young Adventurer of the Year, Caitlin Hillier Kidston. Nine-year-old Caitlin was picked out by a panel of judges, including me, to win the title. That means she'll soon be jet-setting off on an amazing safari adventure holiday to Africa with the Family Adventure Company. Lucky thing. Well done, Caitlin. You clearly have a passion for animals. You love watching wildlife shows, yeah, as well as having bucket loads of adventurous spirit. And I thought you were a real natural behind the camera, so who knows, maybe one day I might see you presenting your own nature show on the telly. I really hope you enjoy your safari adventure. Do make sure you learn lots about Africa firsthand so that you can help advise the team here at Chessington on the new safari Ride into Africa attraction. I'm sure everyone will join me in giving you a great big round of applause. Congratulations, Britain's Young Adventurer of the Year, Caitlin Hillier Kidston. So, Caitlin, come and say hello. Great time experiencing all that Zufari 
Ride Into Africa has to offer. And remember, expect the unexpected. Wow, so again, can we have a big round of applause for Kelly? So, I suppose the question I've got to ask is why did you enter this competition, Caitlin? I entered the competition because I, I really love animals and I really wanted to go on a real life safari. And your dream's about to come true because when is it about two weeks' time you're going to be jet setting off to Africa with your family? Yeah. And uh, what do you expect's going to happen when you get over there? Well, we certainly hope so. And, and what do you think is your best adventure that you've had so far before Africa? Uh, I went on a sea safari to search for seals. Well, that's pretty impressive. Was that an amazing? Did you find any? Yeah, I found three seals in the well, well, well done to you. Well, you, Caitlin is going to be on the very first trip that's going around in a few minutes' time, so I hope you enjoy it and congratulations again. Well done, Caitlin. Let's go back into the <laughs> Um, the development that we've done is absolutely uh, uh, probably the, the biggest thing that we've done here for around about 20 years. This gives you an idea. We're currently, uh, uh, we're currently still in the hotel here. Um, and, and this area here is all the rest of the theme park. And New Safari here, so we're adding about a third of the size of the park. So it, it's, it's, been a, it's been a pretty massive construction program for us. Um, and uh, in two weeks' time, we'll be launching it to the public. Um, I have to do a couple of little health and safety messages now. I'm, I'm sure you'll understand. Um, officially, it still is a construction site. So the reason that we've got all these lanyards for you is so that you don't get lost. Please keep them on. Uh, we'll be tracking you around so you don't get into any harm. Um, what you'll see when you get up there is, uh, is about two weeks away from the finished product. So there's still quite a bit of snagging to go on. Um, and unfortunately, I'm afraid the flamingos are still in quarantine, so you won't be able to see the flamingos today. Um, but what I am sure is that you're going to get a really good sense of just how amazing this product's going to be in a couple of weeks' time when we open it up. And we think it's going to be product, uh, an amazing product, because we've got these just amazing new friends of ours. Um, these are some of the new creatures that we've brought in to coincide with some of the others that we already had from previous years. Um, and of course, probably the, the signature ones are our rhinos. Uh, this is Canty, who came all the way from Portugal. Uh, Yazzi, who came from France. And uh, Doza, not Dozy, Doza, who came from Belgium. Uh, so they've, give, they've been giving our zookeepers, uh, keeping them very busy, trying to learn new languages for food and come and so on and so forth. But they've been settling in really well. Uh, on top of that, we've got four amazing new uh, giraffe that arrived. Uh, and this, is, uh, this was the very first day, actually, that they met each other, so hopefully they're still getting on as well as they were then. And, uh, but one of the things I've been asked time and time again is, how on earth do you move a giraffe? So we thought we'd video it when we did it, and this might help you understand quite how you do do that. We've had a pretty remarkable start to 2013 because this week alone we've had the arrival of our uh, four giraffe. It's a fantastic time for us. We've been planning the arrival of these giraffes now for around about five years and it's the first time that we've been at Chesington since 1995. Um. Transporting the animals to the site has been a, a huge challenge and we brought in giraffes and rhinos obviously which are extremely large animals and takes a lot of planning. Uh, in both cases it's, it was a case of working with, uh, with transport companies, working with other zoos uh, and working with all the staff here to ensure that we could bring them in safely. In, uh, in only two months time now we're going to be launching Zufari, our brand new attraction here at Chesterton World of Adventures. Uh, the thing that was so amazing about this is we've got a complete new safari trail experience with these fantastic new trucks. But on top of that, we've got this theme park twist that gives it a completely new dimension. The main thing 
that's really exciting for me working with the giraffe is uh, getting the training. I feel it's a really important part of animal husbandry, so I'm excited to see what it's going to be like, how we can develop that bond between them. And also, I'm really excited to see them out on the Zufari as a whole, intermingling with the other species, giving guests a really good experience, and hopefully they'll, uh, they'll look great out there with everything else. For those of you slightly confused, we took that video about six weeks ago, which is why they said we're opening in two months' time. So there you go, there's our animals, but as I said, Zufari is, is there's more of a story here. Um, this is Chase, he will uh, give you a briefing when we get up to the attraction, uh, and this is his little sidekick, Gozi, who's going to have a bit of fun with you as well shortly. Um, but on top of that, for the first time this year, we've created a special app, so when people are waiting in the queue, they'll be able to download this app for free and play Zufari the game as well at the same time. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to get lots of people who can play that as well while they're waiting for the ride. So, we're almost ready to go. Uh, and in around about a week's time, you'll start to see this, uh, this experience plastered hopefully all over the TV screens. And uh, this is just a taster of what's to come. Chessington World of Adventures presents New for 2013 A Ride into the Wild Safari Expect the Unexpected Go Wild at Chessington World of Adventures Resort There you go. I reckon you've probably had enough of me talking now and a few of you probably want to go out and experience the real thing. So, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Sir Arthur over here, who will lead you up to Zafari. I hope you have a fabulous uh, time. I hope you have a, a wonderful stay for those of you who are staying overnight. Uh, and before you go, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the team at the hotel, Becky who sat here at the front and our friends at Clarion who've spent so much time putting this together. Thank you very much and enjoy yourself.